Thornton's uh, currently owns and operates 165 stores uh, in five states, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, and Tennessee. You know, we have to be on the corner of Maine and Maine. That's, a, that's an always and forever. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we're a very interesting firm. We're 40 years old this year, very proud, of, uh, very proud of that legacy. The business was founded by my father, James H. Thornton, in 1971, and, and we like to call ourselves a, a family-owned business uh, without any family members running around. We find, uh, we find that works best. Well, you know, for us, it's, it's all about our core purpose. You know, we want to be people's favorite place to stop when they're on the go. They always have what I need, never out of anything, and, and it's a clean store. Woohoo! I love Thornton's! You know, it's kind of like a neighborhood place. We're, we're part of their day. When, when we say, you know, we want to be people's favorite place to stop when they're on the go, it's when they're out and around, they know that they can stop in a Thornton's, they'll, somebody will talk to them and say hi to them, they'll find the products they're looking for in a bright, clean, safe environment. Um, and they'll be able to get in and out quickly. And they'll have some interaction with our team members. It might be hello, it might be they get called by their first name, it might be how's your day going. But it's an overall part of their day. And our goal is just to make those folks leave a little better than when they came in. Friendly staff, very friendly staff. They, uh, in fact, they know us by name. Um, good products, um, good company. And these days, you know, you need good gas prices and you guys are the lowest around town. I like that I can find pretty much what I want. I mean if I want a cup of coffee, if I want a, a cool drink, if I want a donut, if I want uh, hot dogs, if I want sandwiches, fruits, I mean you've got everything here. What we've really tried to do is create an environment where consumers can come in, they can queue up and get a good view of the whole store. So they can walk in the front door, look around and find the things they're looking for, or at least apartments they're looking for. We've also really had an emphasis on really putting food front and forward. So as a consumer walks in, they'll see a fresh sandwich case, roller grill bar, fresh condiments, and then they can clearly see through to our fountain beverage and coffee offer. And if you had to pick one thing about Thornton's, what, what's your favorite thing? Really? Yeah. The really? coffee station. The coffee? It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I got like cream and chocolate and I, caramel. I don't know. It's just like a smorgasbord of deliciousness. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Uh, you know, our, our BHAG uh, of selling, you know, 1,000 dispensed beverages per store per day uh, by March of 2012 is, is quickly approaching. Um, but, you know, the, the story behind it uh, is even more interesting because it's the first time our organization has gotten behind one goal. And we decided uh, one of the things we could be best in the world at was dispensed beverages. And for that, that meant uh, coffee, cappuccino, hot chocolate, fountain drinks, lemonade, you name it. If it comes out of a machine, uh, we want to sell it. It's allowed us to be more innovative. It's allowed us to bring in new equipment. And it's allowed us to do all of that a lot faster. We have, we have a great team. We have great leadership. Uh, we're totally focused on our plan to win, great strategy. Lots of, uh, you know, just lots of enthusiasm there, uh, really focused on our team members, focused on our customers, so lots of great things there. Everyone here is always nice. Yeah, so the plan to win, uh, or PTW as we refer to it internally, uh, it's really a turning point for our organization. It's when we got focused on strategy and figured out what was important to us. So our plan to win strategy uh, has really benefited the organization by way of simplifying um, the strategic efforts of our company into three key areas, people, priorities, and food, and then defining those in a way that I think every team member can understand what their role is. Um, whether you be a CSR or the Vice President of Operations, I think it's easy for you to identify with our plan to win strategy. It's, it's simplified to a point that we all understand what our role is, and we all understand how it serves our core purpose of being people's favorite place to stop when they're on the go. Above and beyond the financial success, we also measure, you know, how do we create that success. We, we, we want to build a fabulous culture here at Norton's and, and uh, not only do we measure ourselves in the financial results, but we also measure ourselves in the culture that we build. You know, it's the teamwork, it's um, the success, you're able to see the results of your work. Um, we are a successful company and I think people like playing on a successful team uh, and they're willing to work very hard to do that. Cheering for each other has a great deal to do with the success of our company. Um, when we recognize uh, our teammates for working hard and working well, 
uh, it feels good. The words that best describe the Thornton's culture for me, the first one that comes to mind is winning. Uh, our strategy map is called Plan to Win. Uh, I think that says a lot. Uh, we set very aggressive goals uh, and we make sure we achieve those goals. Um, second word that comes to mind is competition. Every one of our team members is very competitive uh, and they have that drive to win. Uh, and I think that helps us achieve those uh, aggressive goals. Uh, the third one that comes to mind is caring. Uh, Thornton's family, being a privately held company, uh, truly do care about the communities that they're in and the team members that they have working for them. One of the things I love about Thornton's is our team members' commitment to give back to the communities that we serve. Last year, for example, at our annual meeting, all of our general managers came together with many of our vendor partners and, and team members from our store support center, and we went to Fort Knox in order to be able to help our troops who were being deployed overseas. We assembled 3,500 care packages for them, as well as built 200 bicycles for their children for the holiday season while they were being deployed overseas. This kind of care and commitment to our customers and the communities that we serve just exemplifies the values that we have as a company. Let me give you another example of how everyone counts at Thornton's, and that's a charitable fund that we have established for all of our team members called Champ Cares. Champ Cares is a nonprofit organization established by Thornton's in order to be able to help our fellow team members when they're in need. And this fund has been in place for three years, and over the course of that time, Thornton team members have contributed hundreds of thousands of dollars of their personal income in order to be able to help fellow team members when they're in need. Our team members have been there in order to help support them and get them through these crises in their personal lives. It's this kind of commitment to fellow team members and to the communities that we serve that from my perspective make Thornton's a really great place to work and a really cool place for our team members to be a part of. I think it's just that we love what we do uh, every single day. I love Thornton.